Here we have a E4OD transmission with some significant internal component damage. Uh, here are the clutches from the transmission. Uh, you can see they're black. They're basically incinerated. The band got so hot, you can see that the friction material is basically delaminating off of it. Uh, the cause factor for the problem, this is a center support. That center support has a bearing like this. That center support supports and feeds the direct clutch drum. The direct clutch drum rides on the outside of the center support, seals on those sealing rings. And then you have the forward clutch drum that rides on the inside. So when that support bearing fails, it allows there to be a hydraulic leak, uh, not applying the clutches correctly. In addition to these friction components, clutch drums, etc., we also have a forward planet carrier. Uh, it's an aluminum carrier, actually physically sheared off, and uh, you can see that. Uh, also, the sun shell uh, needs to be replaced, the sun gear itself. Uh, when you have damage like this, you have to replace the solenoid pack. Solenoid pack has shift solenoids, has lockup control solenoid, also has pressure control solenoid that is responsible for raising and lowering line pressure to make sure that the transmission doesn't slip when the throttle is applied or in a diesel application when the boost uh, goes up. So any load parameter will change the function at EPC. If the EPC doesn't work properly, uh, it'll burn the transmission up. Here's an explosive view of the transmission. Uh, here you have your, there's your forward planet I showed you. There's the uh, sun shell, uh, direct clutch drum, direct clutches, forward clutch drum, forward clutches, and they are fed by that center support. And item 224 is the center support bearing. So sometimes one little bearing failure can be a cause for entire transmission failure.